The Evening Wind by William Cullen Bryant, 1794-1878 Spirit that breathest through my lattice, Thou that coolest the twilight of the sultry day, Gracefully flows thy freshness round my brow. Thou hast been out upon the deep at play, Riding all day the wild blue waves till now, Roughening their crests and scattering high their spray, And swelling the white sail. I welcome thee to the scorched land, Thou wanderer of the sea. Nor I alone, a thousand blossoms round inhale thee in the fullness of delight, and languid forms rise up, and pulses bound livelier at the coming of the wind of night, and languishing to hear thy grateful sound lies the vast inland stretched beyond the sight, go forth into the gathering shade, go forth God's blessing breathed upon the fainting earth. Go rock the little woodbird in his nest, Curl the still waters bright with stars, And rouse the wide old wood from his majestic rest, summer Summoning from the innumerable boughs The strange deep harmonies that haunt his breast. Pleasant shall be thy way where meekly blows the shutting flower, and darkling waters past, and where the o'ershadowing branches sweep the grass. The faint old man shall lean his silver head to feel thee. Thou shalt kiss the child asleep, and dry the moistened curls that overspread his temples while his breathing grows more deep. And they who stand about the sick man's bed shall joy to listen to thy distant sweep and softly part his curtains to allow thy visit grateful to his burning brow. Go, but the circle of eternal change, which is the life of nature, shall restore with sounds and scents from all thy mighty range thee to thy birthplace of the deep once more. Sweet odours in the sea air, sweet and strange, shall tell the homesick mariner of the shore, and listening to thy murmur, he shall deem he hears the rustling leaf and running stream. Okay, this poem is by William Cullen Bryant. He is an American. Um, he was born in Massachusetts but spend, spent most of his time in New York. I think he was the editor of the New York Evening Post. Um, so he was a poet, a journalist and an editor and um, he's one of the most famous American poets. So what's this about? Well this poem is about the wind. This is the evening wind coming in off the sea. So this breeze in evening where the land cools down quicker than the sea and you get this breeze coming in and it's been a really hot day and this is describing the wind. This is a, a poem to the, to the wind and to its beauty and it describes the wind very nicely but it also describes how the wind affects animals, nature, humans, how the, the wind is an important thing and that it lives in the sea and then comes over land and then goes back uh, to the sea again. Spirit that breathes through my lattice. So he's calling the wind a spirit and it's saying that the wind breathes through his body, breathes through, is part of his very being. 
thou that coolest the twilight of the sultry day. So twilight, it's evening and the sun's going down and it's been a sultry, a hot day. And, you are, and the wind is now cooling this hot day. Gratefully flows thy freshness round my brow. So my brow, my forehead, it's really good to feel the wind on me or a breeze on me finally because it's been so hot. Thou hast been out on upon the deep at play. So the wind has been playing in the sea. Yeah, this is the wind's playground. Riding all day the wild blue waves till now. So the wind has been on the waves, pushing the waves, or the waves have been pushing the wind. Roughening their crests and scattering high their spray. So the wind, the crest is the top of the wave and it's been making the tops rough and it's been throwing the spray, just little bits of air into, a, a water into the air and swelling the white sail. And the boats that are sailing on the ocean, you've been mm, making their, their sails full. I welcome thee to the scorched land, thou wanderer of the sea. So I'm really glad to have the wind, because the land is scorched, it's burnt. This is high summer and it's really hot. Thou wanderer of the sea. So he's saying that the wind wanders through the sea. It, wa it goes here and there in all sorts of places, and the sea is its home. Nor I alone a thousand blossoms round in thee the fullness of delight. So <coughs> I'm not the only only personal thing that is happy that the wind the the evening breeze has come. A thousand flowers, a thousand blossoms round everywhere inhale thee. So this is personification. The flowers breathe in the air. They breathe in the fullness of delight. So they're very happy. And languid forms rise up and pulses bound livelier at the com at coming of the wind of night. So languid, if you're languid, you're lazy, you're lying about. And if it's really, really hot, uh, all the animals and the people, they, they're not very active. And uh, when this evening wind comes, they, it tells them that the heat is going. Yeah, and things pulse up. It's like the wind comes and things come up. Yeah, and they are much, they're full of life now because the evening wind is coming. And languishing to hear thy grateful sound lies the vast inland stretched beyond the sea. Sorry, stretched beyond the sight. So languishing. If you languish, you continue in a hard and unpleasant situation. So the vast inland because the wind has just arrived at the seashore and it's and the further inland um th it's still very hot and it's languishing it's desiring uh to hear the sound of the wind and for the evening wind to come i love this personification of the inland horizon yeah it's languishing to hear the wind um and this vast inland, inland it's enormous and it goes so far that you can't see it. Go forth into the gathering shade. So night is falling. I think night is falling over the land. And the wind is telling the wind to go into the night and cool everyone. Go forth, go out, go forwards. God's blessing breathed upon the fainting earth. So this cool evening breeze is is a blessing from God where the earth is fainting, it's losing consciousness because it's so hot. It's been such a long hot day and this is the balm of night. Go rock the little wood bird in his nest. So here we've got this image of a bird in a wood that's in a nest in a tree and the wind will move the nest around. 
curl the still waters so still waters this is talking about a lake or or a puddle so make the make waves on the waters yeah these still waters which were bright with stars so there's there was the reflection of the stars on these waters that weren't moving and rouse the wide old wood from his majestic rest so start to move m make active rouse the wide old wood from its uh, s sleep during the day or sleep without wind summoning from the innumerable boughs the strange deep harmonies that haunt his rest so here this is a personification of the old wood this is another person and the wind summons it gets the huge number of branches in the wood um, to make strange noises to make these haunting sounds yeah that are part of the wood yeah that are part that are his breast his chest so these are these sounds of the wind moving the branches this is uh, part of the the wide old wood and this is maybe a, a haunting sound pleasant shall be thy way where meekly blows so wherever you blow it's going to be pleasant everyone's going to be happy to greet you where you blow with without being aggressive or um, overbearing where you uh, humbly blow the shutting flower and darkling waters past pass and where the or shadowing branches sweep the grass so you're going to blow through the flowers that are now shutting because night is coming um, and uh, the waters which are becoming dark yes because night is coming and um, in the wood where there are br uh, branches overshadowing the grass and you're going to blow under the branches and you're going to move the grass the faint old man shall lean his silver head to feel thee so now we have a, have an image of an old man with gray hair and he moves his head to one side to feel the wind or this breeze because it feels so good thou shalt kiss the child asleep so you you will go over a child that is sleeping and dry the moistened curls that overspread his temples while his breathing grows more deep so this child is asleep and the curls that are over his temples his hair um, these are wet from sweat because it's been so hot and you will dry the sweat in his hair while his breathing grows more deep while the child falls more and more deeply asleep and they who stand about the sick man's bed shall joy to listen to thy distant sweep so now we have an image of people standing around the bed of somebody who's sick who may be dying and they will be happy they will joy because they can hear the movement of the wind and softly part his curtains to allow thy visit grateful to his burning brow so normally in the room of a sick person we have this image of the curtains drawn and the people who are there they open the curtains so that this evening breeze can um, go over his fevered brow burning brow clearly this person has fever and this will make the person feel better go but the circle of eternal change which is the life of nature shall restore okay so go uh, come and go yeah the wind the, this evening breeze comes and goes but continue with the circle of life the circle of change 
yeah mm, change is the, the the nature of life the wind will come in the evening yeah um and go he's telling it to go back to the sea yeah so and uh nature shall restore so this is talk i think talking about the restorative power of a nice breeze on a hot day yeah um so go back go back to where you've came from so restore yourself with sounds and scents from all thy mighty range thee okay and so go back go back to where you've come from but take with you the sounds and the smells of all the places that you've been over the land thee to thy birthplace of the deep once more so go back to the deep go back to the ocean and take with you the sounds and the experiences that you've had over the land sweet odors in the sea air sweet and strange shall tell the homesick mariner of the shore so when you go back to the sea you will take with you the um smells uh of the of the land yeah and you tell the, the, you are telling the uh homesick sailor the sailor that wants to go home um that the shore is still there and listening to thy murmur listening to the voice of the wind he shall deem he shall believe he shall say that he hears the rustling leaf and running stream and in 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 the sound of the wind he will think that he can hear the rustling of leaves and the running of the streams and running water so this is a lovely description of the wind. I think it's a very nice poem. It's quite accessible as well, which is good. So enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you soon. Bye for now. The Evening Wind by William Cullen Bryant.